better farmers. Janet Tucker is a school dropout who has taken up farming, which is now her main source of income. I'm mainly me fala lo here lo highlands. Uh, main wakablo me fala na osem farming. Side lo wakem garden, feeding pipi or things osem. As long as time custom garden him come join with me fala, and me fala got him some skills too. While Johnny tutua him come out for come helping me fala people lo here. So me fala start for apply him now. This fala uh, kind technique while Johnny tutua him come for so me fala. Because from before come, me fellas have a goal or far away place for Wakem Garden. And me fellas have a damage him now or the trees blow me fella. So this time me fella take him some fella new skills. Me fella try for apply him and me fella make him out the garden blow me fella. Come cause up normal or area me fella stay low him. There you are. I put another smaller leaf then wrap it. Okay. That natural polybag. John Sala okay. is a recent convert to farming. Then He's a former over. civil servant who sees the good and traditional methods of farming and how his family and community can greatly benefit from it. He's also seen how the slash and burn method adopted by his grandparents isn't such a good method and does more harm than good. The problem here, which was left by our great parents, uh, and uh, parents, uh, they have uh, chopped off all the virgin forests. They have left the logs rotten, and therefore, the the effect of those sifting cultivation and slice and burn, now we ripped. Then I pull a seedling out by my left hand. Okay, preserve all these roots. Capacity building and training is a very important component of the work of Custom Garden, and people like John play an important role as part of a team of country national trainers. There you are. Technical assistance to farmers from the government is minimal, so organizations like Custom Garden and the Secretariat of the Pacific Community, SBC, play an important role. Those technical uh, uh, advices and technical uh, help uh, was facilitated by SPC through DSAP, okay, and then was facilitated by uh, technical staff of the Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock of Solomon Island, which was based in Aoki. <laughs> For the founder of Custom Garden, Joni Tutur, there's a passion and commitment to very strongly held beliefs on the natural methods of farming and how families can maximize the space in their backyards. Fertilizer kills the microbes. Worse when they, when they are sprayed with insecticides or herbicides and fungicides, all these side sides. And many times I said it's time to put aside the sides because yeah, we cannot grow healthy food. The, our nation, you know, our nation must have healthy people, otherwise it can, cannot survive. Okay? And, and the health of the nation, health of people, depends on the health of the soil. So healthy soil produces healthy food to sustain healthy people. Yeah. And that link, the link between soil, food and people, that is my emphasis on, on agriculture, on uh, organic farming. At one stage we, we hear so much about green revolution. Now you don't hear more about green revolution. What is wrong with it? Because it destroys soil. So while people are pushing, you know, fast growing, uh, uh, to feed uh, uh, the fast growing population, is a wrong concept. Okay? If every family is taught how to, to grow food in, in small holdings, they will not be hungry. The work of Custom Garden isn't limited only to the promotion of traditional farming methods. It has various other components, ranging from working with young farmers, planting material network, capacity building of farmers, sharing of planting materials, and a livestock component to train farmers on how to take care of their livestock. 
the response from farmers in the community continued to be very positive. In the SHARM project, we have established 22 germplasm centers, we call it. Okay, 22 germplasm centers. These germplasm centers are consist of farmers' field schools, rural training centers, and also communities, a group of farmers. And so far, I think we have been distributing uh, around 20, yeah, more than 20 SPC varieties of sweet potato. And these varieties are still evaluated by farmers. So we taught trained farmers to carry out trials on the field and uh, they use their own best local varieties as a Czech variety to compare against these SPC varieties. And uh, we are starting to collect the results. So that out of these results, we'll try and see which one is best one that can be introduced. Because we believe if we have enough of good best local or SPC varieties that we can give it out to farmers, then we should avoid this um, idea of people going to the bush making big gardens so farmers can just have a small piece of land but at least they can produce enough to feed themselves and also maybe enough to sell for money. Yeah. <laughs> In the western province, Silas Kerry works hard and diligently as the regional coordinator of Custom Garden, traveling throughout the province, assisting and advising farmers. In addition, he has his own farm, which members of his family work on. As a farmer, one of the major problems he's faced with is water. Sometimes uh, we just depend on the rain for water, but uh, to manage uh, our crops or vegetable in this uh, situation, we used to collect some uh, uh, rotten uh, woods and uh, we use organic, just mulching and other things so that when it rains, then those things store the water. The family plays an important role in the whole process of gardening. It also extends beyond the immediate family to other relatives and friends. Yeah, I got my family, just uh, my own family at the first place. And there are other interesting people 